Welcome to Analytics with Max. In this video, I am going to talk about how to convert your SQL equivalent queries in DAX. So we are going to talk about um, in, or, and condition as well as union and intersect in this video. The prerequisite, you should have a basic understanding about SQL, DAX and semantic models. Let's begin. This channel contains a free content that covers MSBI, Power BI, fundamentals of Azure. Please utilize this free content. Share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Let's start. So I'm in SQL Server uh, where I have demonstrated in my previous video about these five queries. I strongly recommend you to watch it if you haven't uh, seen it so that you will understand the fundamentals, how we are drafted, select, where condition, order by, group by classes. Now in this video, we will extend it for how to write multiple conditions. So and or an in condition. So this is the query. If you write in SQL with a single table, you will write um, person type and condition here, right? This is a logical and condition. In DAX, how can we write it? So we know about the single condition here that is filter and person type. Let's try to put a comma and try to write uh, promotion whether it is allowing. No, because if you see here filter table filter expression, it should be within this expression. There is no additional columns. You can add it here. So this is not the proper syntax. Then how can we write? There are different ways you can write either you can add ambassador condition and promotion. Right email promotion equal to zero. This is the one way of writing it. That is 153 records. The same results you will get it in the SQL server. The other way of writing it is you can add ambassand here then you can put a condition over here. So this is another way of writing it in the instead of ambassand you can add and condition at the prefix. This is about and. So when we say r just swap this one instead of and to r. So we will get around um, more records here 11,000 records. Let's try to check it out whether we get the similar records here. You will get the same kind of records here. That is um, like our condition. So that is uh, another uh, interesting uh, condition we usually write in SQL. That is the in. How to write in condition. So let's try to keep um, this person type equal to EM and EZ as well as uh, let's try to put this and condition here. Right. So the result of this is, sorry, I need to select together. It is 314. Now, how can we write this uh, in condition here? Right. So this R condition stands for this is condition number one and this is condition number two. If you closely watch the condition number one is party type that is person type in EM and GC. So here we need to choose in the syntax is slightly different here. You need to put the open curly braces and comma and then close bracket and close curly bracket and then you put the required members here. So this will return you the similar result. Uh, we have used uh, uncondition there for testing our in cases. So I will put and so you will get the 314 which is equivalent to here. I hope you understand and or and in condition uh, right now. Let's move on to our uh, next section like union and intersect. So basically uh, union is nothing but you have a two data set and then you want to combine it. Let's try to uh, understand it without SQL. Um, I have this data set where person type equal to GC I'll get certain records and as well as uh, person type equal to EM, I will get another record. This is uh, usually we will not do because it is uh, in condition, right? When you put in, it will have uh, both the records. But for understanding purpose, I use the same table. It can be from a different table. Then in that cases, uh, you will use this as one table. This is another table. You will combine it, right? So for our understanding, we'll stick to the single table. Now let's try to see the result of um, first table. I'll comment out um, all others. So this is the first table GC. I'll get around 289 records. Let's see second table records. 
273 to 273 plus 289 that's what i'm going to get in the union so i want to combine these records right union of table 1 and table 2 so i use the um, um, the variables to show the temporary results always it's recommended to use the uh, variables now this is the table 1 and table 2 now i should get around 560 so that is what i get it now so for intersect i don't think um, we have a common records that matches all the columns let's see i don't get any records here to make you to understand let's try to uh, select few columns so now you get the all the matching combined together right um, in this set as well as this one that is what we achieved as part of this video i hope now you understand and remember that data is your well.